the Ordnance QF Hotchkiss 6 pounder gun MKI and MK2 or QF 6 pounder 8 CWT were a family of long lived light 57mm naval guns introduced in 1885 to defend against new, small, and fast vessels such as torpedo boats and later submarines. There were many variants produced, often under license, which ranged in length from 40 to 58 calibers, but 40 caliber was the most common version. Six-pounders were widely used by the navies of a number of nations and often used by both sides in a conflict. Due to advances in torpedo delivery and performance six-pounder guns were rapidly made obsolescent and were replaced with larger guns aboard most larger warships. This led to them being used ashore during World War I as coastal defense guns, the first tank guns and as anti-aircraft guns, whether on improvised or specialized HA-LA mounts. During World War II six-pounder guns were put back in service to arm small warships and as coastal defense guns. The last ships to carry six-pounders was the Agir-class offshore patrol vessels of the Icelandic Coast Guard which replaced them in 1990 with Bofors 40mm autocannons. Operational History Argentine Service Argentina adopted the 40 caliber Hotchkiss six-pounder in the 1890s, to arm its 4 GUSP Garibaldi-class armoured cruisers, purchased from Italy. The Argentinians were at that time engaged in a naval arms race with Chile. The last ships from this class were retired from service on August 2, 1954. Argentinian ships armed with six-pounder guns include Brazilian service Brazil adopted the 40 caliber Hotchkiss six-pounder in the 1890s, to arm its coastal defense ships, protected cruisers, and torpedo gunboats. The Brazilians also used the competing Nordenfeldt six-pounders in lesser numbers. The last Brazilian ship retired was the coastal defense ship Marshal Floriano in 1936. The former Brazilian coastal defense ship Marshal Deodoro was sold to Mexico in 1924 and renamed Anahuac, which was retired in 1938. Brazilian ships armed with six-pounder guns include Chilean service Chile adopted the 40 caliber Hotchkiss six-pounder in the 1890s, to arm a battleship, an armored cruiser, and several protected cruisers. The last of these ships was retired in 1933. Chilean ships armed with six-pounder guns include Chinese service China adopted the Hotchkiss six-pounder in the 1880s, to arm its protected cruisers. During the First Sino-Japanese War, ships on both sides were armed with Hotchkiss six-pounder guns. Surviving six-pounder guns were in Chinese service aboard gunboats and auxiliaries during the Second Sino-Japanese War and World War II. Chinese ships armed with six-pounder guns include French service. Despite originating in France the six-pounder was not widely used by the French. Like the British who paired their QF 3-pounder Hotchkiss guns with the larger 6-pounder the French often paired their 3-pounders with the more powerful cannon to 65mm Modally 1891. This gun is sometimes referred to as a 9-pounder in English publications. During World War II a few flower-class corvettes, Aconit, Commandant Drogu, Commandant de Troyes, Commandant d'Estienne d'Orves, Mimosa, Renoncule, Rosalies, of the Free French Navy were armed with two six-pounder guns. Irish service A six-pounder gun was fitted to the single Vickers MKD tank used by the Irish Army between 1929-1940. When the tank was scrapped in 1940 the gun was removed and used as an anti-tank weapon. Italian service Italy adopted the 40 caliber Hotchkiss six-pounder in 1886 to arm its armored cruisers, battleships, protected cruisers, torpedo boats, and torpedo cruisers. The Italians also adopted the competing 43 caliber Nordenfeldt six-pounder gun and by 1909 the Nordenfeldt had replaced the Hotchkiss in service. This was the opposite of the British who replaced their Nordenfeldt guns with Hotchkiss guns. Italian ships armed with Hotchkiss six-pounder guns include Japanese service Japan adopted the 40 caliber Hotchkiss six-pounder in the 1880s to arm its destroyers, protected cruisers, and unprotected cruisers. The Japanese versions of the six-pounder were known as Yamanuchi guns and were largely identical to their British equivalents. 
ships on both sides of the First Sino-Japanese War and Russo-Japanese War were armed with Hotchkiss six-pounder guns. The six-pounder was the standard secondary and tertiary armament on most Japanese destroyers built between 1890 and 1920, and was still in service as late as the Pacific War. Japanese ships armed with six-pounder guns include Russian service The Russians began purchasing 40 caliber six-pounders from France starting in 1904 to replace its three-pounder and one-pounder guns in the anti-torpedo boat role. In addition to 40 caliber guns, 50 and 58 caliber guns were also produced under license at the Abukov State Plant. These were installed on torpedo cruisers and submarines built from 1905 to 1917. Beginning in 1909 to 1910 most larger surface ships began replacing their 6-pounders with 75mm 50 caliber pattern 1892 and 102 mm 60 caliber pattern 1911 guns when combat experience in the Russo-Japanese War showed the 6-pounders were almost as ineffective as the 3-pounder and 1-pounder guns they had replaced. In 1911 to 12 a number were turned over to the army for use as coastal artillery and later in 1914 some were converted into anti-aircraft guns. In addition to the Hotchkiss guns there were also Nordenfeld guns which were used as ranging guns for coastal defenses. Finland a successor state to the Russian Empire inherited a number of six-pounders and used them throughout the Winter War and World War II in the coastal artillery role. Russian ships armed with six-pounder guns include Spanish service Spain adopted both the 40 caliber Hotchkiss six-pounder and the 42 caliber Nordenfeldt six-pounder in the 1880s to arm its armored cruisers, battleships, protected cruisers, and unarmored cruisers. Seven ships, one battleship, three unarmored cruisers and three protected cruisers, carried the Hotchkiss guns and eleven, eight unarmored cruisers and three protected cruisers, carried the Nordenfeldt guns. Ships on both sides of the Spanish-American War were armed with various six-pounder guns, Driggs Schroeder, Hotchkiss and Nordenfeldt. The Spanish cruiser Isla de Cuba, which was captured by the United States during the Spanish-American War and served as the USS Isla de Cuba until sold to Venezuela in 1912 and renamed Mariscal Sucre, was the last ship decommissioned and scrapped in 1940. Spanish ships armed with six-pounder guns include United Kingdom service. The UK adopted a 40 caliber, i.e. 90 inch barrel, version as Ordnance QF Hotchkiss 6 pounder gun MKI and MK2 or QF 6 pounder 8 CWT. It was manufactured under license by the Ellswick Ordnance Company. They were originally mounted from 1885 onwards for use against the new, steam driven, torpedo boats which started to enter service in the late 1870s. The UK also adopted the competing 42 caliber Ordnance QF 6-pounder Nordenfeldt at the same time as the QF 6-pounder Hotchkiss, but the Royal Navy was not satisfied with the special Nordenfeldt ammunition and fuses. Following the explosion in 1900 of an ammunition ship due to defective fuses, Britain replaced Nordenfeldt fuses with the Hotchkiss designs and Nordenfeldt guns were phased out in favor of the Hotchkiss guns and were declared obsolete by 1919. The original 1885 Hotchkiss MKI was a built-up gun with a barrel, jacket, and a locking hoop screwed to the front of the jacket. The MKI lacked a recoil system, but the MK2 of 1890 introduced a hydraulic recoil mechanism with a pair of hydrospring cylinders. During World War I the Navy required many more guns and a auto-fretted, Monoblock barrel version was developed to simplify manufacture and identified as 6PDR single tube. Initially these guns were only allowed to be fired with a special lower charge, but in 1917 they were realigned with A-tubes as MKI++ which enabled them to use the standard 6-pounder ammunition. After World War I the gun was considered obsolete for combat use, but continued in use as a saluting gun and as subcaliber training guns. Of the 3,984 produced it was estimated that 1,640 still existed in 1939. With the onset of World War II the remaining guns were rushed back into service for anti-submarine defense, e-boat defense, and for coastal defense. New non-recoil MK6, 
MK6 asterisk and MK6 mountings were built with elevations between minus 10 degrees to plus 70 degree. These mountings were used on early models of the Fairmile D motor gunboats, motor launches and flower class corvettes. Some of which were not rearmed with the modern auto-loading 6 PDR MKIIA until late 1944. Royal Navy ships armed with QF 3-pounder Hotchkiss guns include Tank service the six-pounder was used to equip male versions of the early British MKI, MK3 tanks. In 1916 the British Army having no prior experience in fighting tanks was faced with the difficulty of quickly providing a new class of weapon. The existing Hotchkiss six-pounder naval gun appeared to most closely meet the need, a compact enough weapon to fit into a tank sponson with a sufficient high explosive shell. A single gun was mounted in each sponson i.e. two per male tank able to fire forwards or to the side. Tanks armed only with machine guns were designated as female. The gun turned out to be too long for practical use as the end of the barrel could come into contact with the ground or other obstacles as the tank travelled over uneven ground. The British chose to shorten the gun rather than change its location and replaced it in 1917 in the Mark IV tank onwards by the shorter QF 6-pounder 6 6CWT. Anti-Aircraft Service Britain lacked any dedicated air defence artillery early in World War I and up to 72 six-pounders were adapted to high-angle pedestal mountings at key establishments in Britain for close air defence by 1916. They are not listed as still being in service in this role at the end of the war, presumably because German bombing attacks were conducted from relatively high altitudes which would have been beyond the gun's range. United States Service United States Six-Pounders The history of the Hotchkiss Six-Pounder, called the rapid-fire gun rather than quick-firer in the U.S., in United States Navy and Army service is a complex story. It was used in conjunction with another maker's design, its primary rival being the Driggs Schroeder Six-Pounder. Oddly, one shipbuilding and naval supply company, Cramp & Sons, had a license to build both the Hotchkiss and Driggs Schroeder and sold both to the Navy in parallel. It appears that Hotchkiss-type guns had an edge in production in the first half of the 1890s, but by 1895 Driggs Schroeders were being produced in quantity to equip a considerable number of newly commissioned ships. The initial purchases by the Navy were in small lots each year and there was no mass production of these guns like one would see in smaller weapons. The Navy made certain that the ammunition for both the Hotchkiss and Driggs Schroeder guns were identical. There is no question that the Driggs Schroeders were predominant in the new protected and armored cruisers that were being commissioned by 1895. However, USS Texas, a second-class battleship commissioned in 1895, carried a mixed six-pounder complement of ten Driggs Schroeders and two Hotchkiss guns. USS Maine an armored cruiser, exclusively carried Driggs Schroeder six-pounders although it had a mixed one-pounder battery of both Driggs Schroeder and Hotchkiss. Ships known to have carried exclusively Driggs Schroeder six-pounders are USS Olympia, Brooklyn, New York, and Columbia. Although from photographs of particular guns on the vessels in question, it appears that the battleships USS Indiana, USS Oregon, and USS Iowa carried exclusively Hotchkiss six-pounders with USS Massachusetts carrying Driggs Schroeders. Unlike her 8-inch guns, the preserved USS Olympia, C-6, retains her Driggs Schroeder six-pounders. She is at the Independence Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. Beginning in 1910 six-pounder guns were replaced by 3-50 caliber guns aboard U.S. Navy ships. However smaller ships such as U.S. Coast Guard cutters, gunboats and minesweepers continued to use six-pounders in the years between World War I and World War II. U.S. Navy ships armed with six-pounder guns include U.S. Army Service The U.S. Army also used the Hotchkiss six-pounder referred to as a 2.24-inch gun in some period references. As the primary defender of coastal fortifications and harbors, the U.S. Army had a need for lighter guns to supplement their shore batteries, particularly since land defense against infantry was a consideration in the 1890s. The Army was in an experimental phase like the Navy, testing new weapons in an era when military budgets were expanding after decades of congressional stinginess. 
It appears that the U.S. Army and U.S. Navy, while both using the MARC system, assigned their designations to different ordnance. References indicate that Driggs Schroeder guns, manufactured by the American Ordnance Company and designated Mark II and Mark III, were adopted along with Driggs Seabury weapons designated M1898 and M1900. In 1898-1901 a total of 97 weapons were acquired, 20 M1898, 40 M1900, 10 Mark II, and 27 Mark III guns. However, 17 M1898 and all 10 Mark II guns were transferred for use on Army troop transports in the Spanish-American War of 1898, leaving 70 weapons for land use. The mountings for the Army six-pounders were called M1898 and M1898, modified, rampart mounts or parapet mounts, wheeled carriages with fittings that allowed them to be secured to pintle mounts. Another reference has somewhat different figures. There were generally two of these guns issued per major fort, and eventually many of them became saluting guns at the post's flagpole. A dozen were deployed at Fort Ruger in Hawaii as part of the land defense project of 1915-1919, while others were deployed in the Philippines under this project. Ammunition The six-pounder fired fixed QF 57X 307R ammunition. A complete round weighed 9.7 pounds, 4.4 kilograms, and its projectile weighed 6 pounds, 2.7 kilograms. The most common types of ammunition available for six-pounder guns were shrapnel, steel, and common shells. In World War II higher-yield high-explosive rounds were produced. Licensed Production Ellswick Ordnance Company Abukov State Plant William Cramp and Sons Wars First Sino-Japanese War Spanish-American War Russo-Japanese War Italo-Turkish War First Balkan War Second Balkan War World War I Russian Civil War Second Sino-Japanese War Winter War World War II Cod Wars Users Argentina Brazil Chile Cuba Denmark Finland France Greece Iceland Italy Empire of Japan Mexico Peru Portugal Qing Dynasty Republic of China Russian Empire Spain Thailand United Kingdom Uruguay United States Venezuela Please subscribe and thanks for watching